Meanwhile, the federal government has ordered buyers of two underpriced public properties in Lagos to pay the differentials of the real values of the properties as of 2001. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, will disclose this on Wednesday while briefing status correspondence after the week's Federal Executive Council meeting said the council arrived at a decision following a memorandum presented which revealed that the government was short paid in the transaction on the properties seized by officials of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. NDLEA. According to Fashola, the properties, a four bedroom bungalow on Adeni Jones and another five bedroom duplex on Amadasun Street in GRA, Koyi, Lagos, which sold for 2 million naira and 5 million naira respectively, were seized by the NDLEA in the course of narcotic prosecution. Ministries, departments, and agencies, heads of the ministries as accounting officers and the ministers must sign off now on request for valuation of properties, especially when agencies are trying to buy properties, because we see that sometimes the ministers are not even aware of the permanent secretaries that proposals are being made for acquisition of uh, those type of assets. Finally, we also propose that government approve the sale of uh, two properties at the 2001 rate which were 18 and 20 million at the time. Those were the market values of those properties, but they were uh, interestingly sold at 5 million and 2 million in 2001. So we've said that government should approve that the buyer should pay the open market rate at that time in order to consummate the transaction. There were properties sold as a result of a proceed, uh, a prosecution for uh, narcotics by NDLEA. So they were proceeds of drugs crime. But the valuation process followed the NDLEA Act instead of the financial regulations. So essentially those policy proposals were approved by government.